Oh my God. I knew what it was. Gary Nunn believes this lizard he first spotted in his backyard in East Orlando is a tegu lizard. He decided to trap it. Because I don't want him running around here, terrorizing my cats. They don't belong here. He used this cage to catch the lizard using some pretty simple bait. Cat food. He's lived here 12 years and he hadn't seen one until That's recently, right but there. that didn't surprise Ron McGill with Zoo Miami. Florida has become the Ellis Island of exotic animals. McGill says tegus are an invasive species that likely came to the state as a pet that got out or was released. They're more common in South Florida than here in Central Florida. Uh, they are a very adaptable lizard, and it doesn't surprise me to see them slowly but surely migrating up the state. Tegus were added to the state prohibited list in 2021. We sent McGill a picture of Nunn's lizard just to be sure. That is in fact a tegu. Absolutely, there's no question about it. And McGill says they can be a problem for certain animals. If you have any kind of small livestock, if you're in a rural area, you're raising chickens with eggs or anything with eggs. I mean, tegus love eggs. They'll go with the eggs for, for whatever chance they get. Uh, and they will take small birds. They'll take small mammals. But he says the big concern is the impact on the ecosystem. They are just such a large, powerful lizard that they outcompete native species for food. Uh, and when you start out competing these native species, that can have a snowball effect on the environment, the ecosystem as a whole. FWC says tegus can be humanely killed on private property. None isn't sure what he'll do with the one he's caught. I don't know. Like I said, hopefully somebody will want to take it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to kill it. I can't let it free. In Orlando, Haley Crumpleholm, West 2 News.